When I was at the cemetery visiting my father, I met this beautiful gal, uh, Cindy, actually. <laughs> and I thought she was fantastic, and I asked her for a number, and she gave me her number, and that surprised me. And then it's a real number. It isn't even fake. <laughs> so I really haven't been able to get her out of my mind. You know, she's, she's beautiful, she's smart, she's classy, sexy as hell. Uh, my kind of girl. And I don't like the dating game, so I'm gonna give it a shot. But uh, I think my ghoulish side is coming out because I want to date a girl that works at a cemetery. I guess I could dig it. We got the team on the lot and we are on the run. Hanging with my band is a lots of fun. And we know what it takes to be number one. We're just out here in the Florida sun. Ted's got classic cars all over the place. When I was younger, I used to race. We'll be riding high when the day is done. Ted, Vernon, please sell me some fun. We got time for a warm -up music set. But I would prefer that Red Corvette. Ted, will you sell it to me, please, oh, please? I just want those shiny car keys. I've been buying, selling, and trading classic cars for over 40 years. Sometimes you win, and sometimes you lose. You could call it work, but for my team, it's a whole lot more. I'm Ted Vernon, and this is my place, Woo! South Beach Classics. I haven't been on a date in a long, long time, and I hope Cindy has things in common with me. I love horror movies. I love my rock and roll, my doo-wop. Uh, I love classic cars. I hope she likes some of this. I'll take one or two items and be happy. So, Mr. Vernon. Oh, oh. just call me Ted, please. It's my name is Ted. OK, Ted. So what is it that you do? I am a classic car dealer. I buy, sell, and trade classic cars. Oh, I love classic cars. Do you now? I do. So you like cars. Love cars. What about horror movies? I was never really into horror movies until I started watching some of the vampire series. Love that. And now I've become a fan. What's your favorite music? I grew up listening mostly to oldies. Like 50s and 60s stuff? 50s and 60s, and then some classic rock in the 70s. This is exactly what I love. I, you're, you're a dream. It's just exactly what I love. I love the music. <laughs> we do have things in common. She likes classic cars. She likes classic rock music. I think she likes Italian food like I do. And things are going well. I love auctions. I love to go. You know so what a car trial is? Yeah. You yes. know about that, too? Yes, I've been to them. And I love the classic car TV shows also. So which shows do you, do you like? What are your favorites? I like Volo, House of Cars. Do you like any other car shows? None that I could name off the top of my head. OK. Why is there one that you'd recommend that I watch? Well, there's a show that's done here in Florida. It's called South Beach Classics. You okay. ever heard of that? No, never heard of it. OK. Um, it stars me. Oh, I'm sorry. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, great. I, um, I'll watch it when I get home. She likes classic rock. She likes Italian food. She likes classic cars, which is amazing, and knows a bit about them. The only problem she has is she's watching Volo on TV instead of my show. And I mean, I, the Volos, they're my friends, but South Beach Classics is what she should be watching. But Brian is nowhere as cool or good looking as me. So I think I got a foot in the door. So I pull up to the lot today, and my buddy Mark is here with his Mustang. Um, business starts before I even got here, so it's pretty cool. Hey, how are you? Mark, how you doing? God, it's been too long. Yeah, you look great. Thanks. I like the hat. I try to be low key. I don't believe that. <laughs> you know, believe it or not, I've been friends with Mark for over 30 years. And yes, I do have friends. <laughs> Ted is a wonderful, reputable fellow. 
I've known Ted for about 20 years, I would say. Well, let me show you this car I brought you today. It's a 2006 uh, Roush, a um, Mustang. See the Mustang symbol in I the knew front. it was a Mustang. Well, yeah, yeah, I know that. But uh, I know a lot of the cars are more classic than this. But this is a nice car. This car is special because it was signed by Jack Roush. This isn't just a regular Mustang. Jack Roush was a NASCAR driver, and he actually put his seal uh, by signing this car. I bought this car secondhand from a friend of mine who has photographs actually showing Jack Roush signing this car. When I've owned the car, which has been for approximately the last year, I've uh, souped up the car. I've put in a uh, Borla Attack exhaust, uh, which has given it a lot better sound. So it's really a one-of-a-kind vehicle. And what you see on the outside of the car is not only the only thing that's special, the inside of the car is beautiful too. The dashboard is signed, and it's got matching yellow and black seats, which match actually the outside of the car, so that's kind of neat. What I love about this car, aside from its good looks, are it's one of the few cars these days that I can find that are in good stick shift. Now they make them with paddle shift or something else. I like that this car is a real stick. Just the fact that it's a Roush Mustang signed, it's worth money. And that's good merchandise for me to have, for my younger clientele. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Now, it depends upon what you want for it. You coming here to sell this to me, I assume? Well, I didn't we come here to visiting? see you. Oh, right. I'm just kidding. I would come here to see you. But today I'm here with this car. I would like $17,000 for it. I would like my hair to grow back. You know, I'm looking at the car with Mark, and it's a nice, clean car. I don't want to play my hand too open. I don't want to get excited in front of him, but I want the car. We'll see how interested he is in the car by what counteroffer I get. I think for me to make a profit, I think it's a ten grand car. Well, for 10 grand, I'd just take it and leave. I mean, well, you know, I'm not going to make a, a deal with you. Good ride home, be safe. And that's really, I can't, 17 is way out of reality. I can't do it. Well, I can come off of 17, but well, it's not going to sell for 10 right, grand. But I'm your buddy. Don't hit me so hard. I want to do business. Right. Give me something that makes sense. How is 13? 13 is not stupid because I think I'm going to get 15 for the car when I clean it up a little bit and put it out. And as nice as it is, I think it'll bring 15. But I'm not going to buy it to make two grand. It ain't worth my time. But because it's you, I'll go $12,000 cash money for it right now and take you home. And throw in lunch on top of it. Why do I have to throw in lunch? Why is it with a lawyer, it's never enough? Well, that's what I do for a living, you know? And, uh... Come on, even a train stops. I'll give you 12000 and the lunch, but I'm going to pick the restaurant. Deal? Oh, I'm scared of that, but OK. <laughs> Come on. Let me pay you. I'm really remiss to part with this car for $12,000, but I have other cars, and so I'm just going to sell this to Ted. At the last minute, though, I threw in a wrinkle. I threw in an extra thing. I asked him if he would take me to lunch. You know, I figured I've known him for 20, 25 years. He'd do it. And he said OK, but he wanted to pick the place. Now I'm really concerned. As I was shaking Mark's hand, he said, you have to throw in lunch. I'd have done it anyway. But did he have to do that? That's a lawyer. What's happening, buddy? Hiya, Jamie. Hiya, Dr. Bob. Hey, what's up, buddy? How the heck are you? Good, good. Good to see you. Hey, good to be here. Wow. What, what, what do I owe this momentous occasion? I'm here looking for a nice classic car. Something vintage, maybe a convertible, something I can feel the wind in my hair. Well, I sure got enough convertibles that you could find something you like. Um, maybe something Ford. Oh, is that what you like? Yeah, I, I love Ford. That's an all-American. You know, I was checking out this Rolls that I have, looking at it, and all of a sudden, hey, Ted, I look up, it's Dr. Bob and his dad, Jamie, are here, and uh, Jamie and I go way back to when I lived in Miami Shores. He was a cop there, and just a terrific guy. His son, Bob, has a radio show. He calls football games. There's nothing this kid does not do. Um, I think he likes cars, too. What's not to like? I just took in a 64 Galaxy 500 XL convertible, bucket seats, air conditioning, red with black gut. That's just gorgeous. Oh, that's amazing. I love those cars. Yeah, let's Come go on. check it out. Come on. I like convertibles. The wind feels good, you know, when you put the top down. I like to hear the radio in it. And uh, there's a lot of good things. And these, com these cars are all American. I'm a very patriotic person, so. Yeah, I'm looking to stay within 20,000. As long as we don't tell mom. Right. It's gorgeous. 
It's red. Right here. Right here. There it is. It's red. It's an XL. Got the big 390. It's oh, got that's cool, man. Black bucket seats, which is a hell of a combination. Red outside, black inside. And it's beautiful. There's nothing to do but enjoy it. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it feels nice, man. Yeah, it does. Want to sit in it? Oh, I'd love to, man. Come on. That steering wheel might hit you and then might be a little tight. There we are. Well, you got it. That's it. He's gone. How about that? <laughs> I don't have to sell you, do I? Isn't this, it beautiful? This is cool or what, man? This is this is vintage, man. With the top down. It. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna feel real good out on the highway. That's what you're looking for. Yeah, you bet. It's not a cheap car though. You know, these cars are going up every day. I, I was at an auction last week, and they're bringing more than I sell them for. And this car's priced, you know, pretty reasonable. I got a price at uh, twenty six five, and that's my retail price. You know, I know you since before you were born. I know your dad forty years, so I have to give you a deal. But uh, twenty six five is my price. Ted's asking for twenty six five hundred. That's a little bit out of my budget, so. We're gonna to talk to Ted because mom's not gonna go for that. Yeah. We'll never be able to swing it by mom. Yeah, I'd never live to see tomorrow. It's very tough to negotiate with someone that's been your friend for 40 years. And I have a lot of feeling for both of them and I have a whole lot of respect for Dr. Bob. So I'm gonna try my best to make this work. <laughs> this car's worth the money. And this car's gonna go up every year. I, I, you know, I mean, it's worth that. I know, man. Yeah, but Ted. Can't you do There's something no for us, man? I can swing that by mom. She's not gonna let it happen. I know how tough she is. <laughs> yeah. So what's your budget? What's, I mean, what's your you max? Could, you know, we're looking at 20, and that's, that's stretching. That's gonna cause a problem, but for the kid, I gotta do what I gotta do. How much you like this car? Oh, I love it, man. It's uh this is the car, man. Right, here's your deal. I robbed this car. I paid 16 grand for it. Here's your deal. I got to get your approval. I'll sell you the car for the 16 I paid for it, because it's you guys and like family. When you're done with the car, I get it back for 16. How's that grab you? For real? I don't play. You serious? I don't have no reverse. I ain't backing up. What do you think, buddy? What do you think? It's up to you. 16 grand. Done. Done? Consider it a done deal, Ted. All right, well, shake hands with me, and it's your car. This Thank is for you. you, all right? Thank you, bud. All right with you? How about that, buddy? You're happy? Huh? It That's works. That's awesome. We got a car, man. All the events, all our events now, up and down the highway. And when they ask you where you got it? Right here. OK, that works. Let's go do some paperwork. All right. Come on, right. buddy. Quick. Before I change yeah, my mind. Yeah, <laughs> I heard that. Yeah. I don't Come do on, that. buddy. I don't have no reverse. I don't back up. Teddy did us a solid, buddy. Yeah. We pay him for the car, we drive it, and then we give it back, back to Ted when we're done with it. I'm taking that car out on the weekends and I'm cruising. It'll be the boys' ride? You bet. All right. <laughs> you know, reality is this car's worth 26, 27, five, anywhere, anytime now. But these are my guys and I'll get it back. I know these guys, his dad and him, almost 40 years. I'll get it back, it's all good. date started out great. I mean, she said she loves classic car shows. She's just never seen mine. That ain't right. I want her to say she's happy that she's with me, but I'll have to earn that. I love the shows where they find cars in barns and then they restore them. Unfortunately, I don't touch cars. I just buy, sell, and trade. I don't do anything like that. Well, that's a good thing, too. Works. I mean, yeah. I don't get dirty and I make a living. So you're a classic car guy, but you're driving a late model Mercedes. Well, I was going to pick you up in my 57 Chevy today, but it was acting up, and I don't want to take you out and break down it and look stupid. You'd think having 400 cars, it should be easy to pick a car for the first date. And I was going to take her out in the 57 Chevy, but it started to run bad, and I don't want to break down on my first date. 
And I didn't want to show up my Rolls Royce. I don't want to look like I'm bragging or, you know, braggadocious type of look. I don't want to do that. So I picked a regular Mercedes SUV, nice and not over the top. And I think it was the right choice. So Cindy, what's your favorite car? It's got to be a 57 Chevy. I got a very pretty blue one. Next date, um, if you give me another date, I'll pick up at 57, I promise. You're pretty confident, Mr. Vernon. Well, I'm a very nice man, and I have a lot to offer. Things are going great. I mean, she's thinking it's business, but I'm not. All right, I gotta take care of this, all right? You know what you need to do. Thank you. I've lived in Miami my whole life, and every time I pass down 95, I've been intrigued in Ted's uh, classic cars. I have a, a 911 of uh, Carrera 2001 Porsche. I spoke to Ted on the phone, and he knows I'm coming today. I wonder where Ted is. He's supposed to meet me out here. Got to be a lawyer. Gentleman called me up on the phone. He's got a 911 Porsche Carrera that he bought new. And he said, I've had it since 2001, and I want to trade it for something a little more classic. He sounded tough. Then he told me he's a lawyer, so I don't believe anything he's saying anyway. If we can make a deal, great. Hi. Hi. You must Ted? be Evan. I yeah. am. This is my son, Josh. Hi, Josh. Nice to meet you. Ted, don't you want to see my car? I'm not going out and rain my hair. I, I can't. I, I know what it is. It's a 911. I know exactly what the car is. I have three of them. So there's, there's one there, there's one there. I know what it is. A 2001 Porsche Carrera, whale tail, nice car, is probably gonna do 30 grand retail. And as long as he's not silly about his price on the Porsche, we'll try to get a deal done. So you want to get into more of an American muscle type of a classic car? Is that what you're looking for? I do. I think it's a, t a time and a stage of my life I wanna do some more classic. Well, we'll have to show you around a little bit and see if you find something you like. And, uh, I'll trade that in, up or down. You know, whatever's fair, I'll do it. Why don't you walk around, look around, see what you can find that you like? So I was walking with my son around the lot, and we saw some pretty interesting cars. And then all of a sudden, Ted came back to us and said, I have a car I think you'll like. And sure enough, he brought us to this secluded area, and we saw more cars. Ted, what is that? That is a 64 Falcon with a built 289 in it, four-speed transmission, buckets, new everything. Wow, I Look really do like this. This is a beautiful car. Josh, what do you think, you like it? Yeah, All done, is. ready wow. to go. Wow. Yeah. You know, we walked back to this showroom and I really thought they'd like the car and I brought them in and they both lit up like a 4th of July candle. So I'll be gentle with them, but lawyers, they're... This is really nice, and, really you know, nice. You being a lawyer, I'm afraid anyway, so I, I gotta like give it. you a good car. I think, I think mom would like this too. This is really nice. You know, it could be us. This could be us. I feel that he didn't come here to drive the Porsche home, but we gotta get together on a number. This car is priced at 16.5. His car is worth in the low 20s. Retail might be mid 20s. Problem is fair and lawyer doesn't mix. He's gotta come to my field and do it my way. So, Ted, I guess uh, it's time to uh, talk about uh, price, okay? Uh, so. This car's, you know, like 16.5. Your car, to me, is worth in the low 20s. Retail, it's in the mid-20s. So, if we can get around some number there that works, I mean, I can hit you with a number, and if you like the number, we'll just do it. Go right ahead. I'm comfortable at five grand. We're, we're in the ballpark. I think I'd, I think it, I'd like to have about $6,500. That was what I was coming here thinking when I came. Don't think so much. I have to resell your car. And I want your car and I want this gone. I'll pay you six grand cash money. What do you think, Josh? Six grand, uh, it's, it's fair. That's, uh... You know, it's, I, I don't think it's worth haggling another $500. I'm good to go with it. Don't yeah. you agree? No, I agree. I okay, agree. okay. Ted, we've got a deal. Okay, let's do some paperwork. And you're gonna ride this home? I can't wait. Well, come on. You made my day. I'll make your day and you'll be happy and I'm happy and I'm happy I got the Porsche. I saw the Porsche, I know what it is, no problem. I offered him $5,000 and this car, which I thought was enough. And he hit me at 65, which is also fair. So I went down to six and he said, fine. And it was easy and pleasant. You know, for lawyers, they were actually nice.
You know, I'm standing outside, it's raining, I'm under the hood of a Ford Falcon, and all of a sudden, beep, beep behind me, I almost jumped out of my skin. But it was my friend Yannick. He has a country club down in Miami that my band plays at, and he's never been here, so I was a little bit surprised. Well, I braved the South Florida storms to come here and speak to Ted. I wanted to, to bring my Ford F-150 pickup and see if we can make a deal. Uh, I came by, I'm looking to sell this, my nice pickup over here. 05 F-150 FX2. 4.6? Yeah, 4.6 liter. Drives great, very, very reliable, but I'm looking to get something maybe in exchange. Looking How many for miles, 100,000? It's got 250. 250, most reliable 250 you've ever had. And how much do you want for this truck? Looking for about five. So you got another one to go with it? <laughs> <laughs> you wish. This is a beauty, man. This is worth six, but I can do it for five. How about you're that? You're very kind. <laughs> um, would you say you're looking for a car? Yes, yes. I'm looking for something, not a truck. A little more sporty, maybe a convertible. Something to enjoy. Something to have fun with on the weekends, going to the beach and all that. Going to my show. Yeah. What's your uh, what's your budget? Budget's like ten to fifteen grand, depending on what we're looking at. Okay. So you can use this at five, and then throw the rest on the pile. For yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Let me Take show care you. of me. Let you me know, show you. Oh, of you course know I we will. always got you guys at the uh, country club. Of course I will. <laughs> I really, really love the truck. Had it for about three years. It's been very, very uh, reliable for me. I would like to take five thousand uh, dollars, but the lowest I could take would be forty-five. Ted, what year are we looking at? It's a '67 Pontiac Catalina. I just, go ahead. How many miles does it have? I don't know. <laughs> you don't count miles on a car that's that old. It's older that's than you. True. That's true. That's true. That's I true. bought this car in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee from a buddy of mine. Okay. I have it a long time. Like 48 hours? No. Oh. Yeah. Put some work into it in the, in the first 48? I haven't touched it. I haven't had to. No. Boom, fired it up. They came on a truck. Boom, fired it up. Parked it here. Haven't touched it since. But it's a good looking old car. It's beautiful, man. Yeah, it's The power beautiful. top works. Body's good. You know, it's, it's, it's not mint. Yeah. It's, it's a good driver condition type of car. Yeah, the car that Yannick and I picked was a 67 Pontiac Catalina convertible. Ran real well. It had a few little smudges on it, but it's, you know, 50 years old. Car is, is beautiful. I mean, it's a 67, you know, about 45 years old. So it's definitely going to have its older vintage look, which is okay. That's what we're buying here. So definitely something that I can manage. How much is the price that you're looking for on this? You know, realistically, I, I, without trying to clobber you because yeah. you're a buddy, 12.5. You said it was a 67? Yes. Okay. 12.5 cheap for this car. It's probably worth 15 to 18 grand. That's okay. probably what it's worth. But I would take 12.5 and then I got to give you five for that cockroach. That makes, <laughs> that makes it. It's a beautiful uh, cockroach. It's a nice car. 7,500 bucks is what you'd have to pay me. Okay. And no dealer fees. I don't charge them because that's stealing. Okay. Drive it off the lot today? Yeah, why not? Let's make something happen. You want it? I think we can do that. Let's do it, Ted. And you own it, bro. <laughs> I, I, you know, and besides that, use it a couple of years, you'll trade it back in for something else. That's the fun of this. We agreed on 12.5, 75 for me, five grand for his truck, which is what he wanted. And we shook hands, we changed the plate from the truck to the car, registered it, and he was on his way. That's pleasant. That's how business should be. Ted definitely takes care of his friends. He was able to work something out that works for me a uh, little bit. Uh, closer to my budget, and uh, you know, I'm very thankful. Ted's a good guy. Thank you. But, uh, <laughs> so, we're supposed to be meeting to talk about Ted's final arrangements, but he keeps turning it to personal things like, what do I like to do? What are my interests? And I was very surprised to find out that we do have a lot in common. So, Ted. Weren't we supposed to be discussing business? It seems more like you're turning it into a date. No, we can talk business. And I'm gonna do whatever it is you think is right for me to do to secure the place I'm gonna have and be there. And I want that to be done. I don't wanna do all my arrangements, have it all in place so nobody has to stress. I saw you did have another space that's owned by your family. Who's that one for? The other one's for my sister. And please keep her away from me. I don't want to I put her on the other side somewhere. I hate to break the news to you, but you're going to be about four feet away from her for eternity. You think she'll be quiet when she dies? I would think so. What got you into the cemetery business? I grew up in sales, but this is, it, it is sales, but 
I like helping people. And when somebody loses a family member or they're making arrangements for the future, I'd like to help. Well, you're noble and you're beautiful. You got a lot going for you, Cindy. Thank you. You really do. Thank you, Ted. This is love at first sight. My goodness, I'm thrilled. I'm having a great night. Didn't expect to have such a great night.